Hey guys, you ever think maybe that you might have adult ADHD? Nah, me neither. Oh, what's that? Another project. Oh, this, uh, this van I just drug home has been sitting for quite a while. See if he'll start. I do have a battery in it. So I got the legend in here. Got a ample working area here. It's a van. 7.3 power stroke. Pretty nice in it here. Manual windows. You turn this handle and it goes down. I brought this home a couple months ago. I haven't really showed you guys it, I don't think. But this is a 2000 F250. Kid went in the ditch and hit a culvert with it. Broke the bottom of the radiator. But two wheel drive, 7.3 power stroke. And what the plan is with this guy, put uh, the body of this truck 64 F250 onto this guy 2000 F250 I haven't started this in a while you got the same legend battery here See what happens. You gotta move this out of the way because somebody's supposed to be coming to look at a different vehicle.
deal with this thing cranking so long before it starts. I'm pretty sure it needs injector O-rings. It's bleeding down. The high pressure oil system is bleeding down somewhere. I'll have to do a little diagnosing on it to be sure. 235,000 miles on this rear unit. And there's no antifreeze in it, so I better get moving. Well, I don't know if it was a good thing or not, but hauled home a couple trucks. F550 4x4, 7.3 liter. This one kind of threw me off. I thought it was uh, mid, mid to late 99, but the engine looks like an early 99. Normally they have their power stroke badges up here, and the later ones have them here. Unless. Uh, and they did some weird stuff with the 550s. This one has a PTO on it with an automatic transmission. If you can see it up in there. Front axle doesn't really look any beefier than a one ton on these. I'm pretty sure it's just a Dana 60. But the rear end, that's a pretty hefty unit. This one right here doesn't currently run. I'll have to do a little bit of investigating on that. Cranks over and whatnot, but this one here is two wheel drive, F450. That one there runs, drives. It's got some rust and whatnot. I think it's kind of interesting how they did these. Two wheel drive, but look at that. That's four wheel drive suspension. And it's a tube. Just doesn't have the pumpkin in the middle. Interesting. This one's got some pretty good rubbers on it. These are like brand new in the front. I paid less for this one than the other one. Well, get these things unloaded. This one's an 01. Hey, you two. What are you doing? Get him, get him. We got some new puppies, guys. They're half Rat Terrier, half Jack Russell. They're brothers. Let's throw the legend in here.
Now this truck seemed like it had a little bit of a misfire. I'll have to look at it. Might be something not too bad. This one uh, didn't start before, but uh, it has 143,000 miles on it. PTO on the transmission. Show you guys what it sounds like. We are getting some tack signal. I'll have to do some checking into this thing. Doesn't sound very good right now. Hopefully it's doesn't have a dead hole or something. But I'm gonna unload this one on a different date. But for now, this is uh, some of my latest projects I picked up. I have plans for a couple of these. Kind of got roped into this one. So my wife, she said that she would haul this one home. So I felt kind of obligated to buy it. I almost didn't bring it home. But hopefully I can do something with it. Don't know when I'll get around to doing this stuff, but hopefully soon. Maybe this winter. Thanks for watching, guys. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit the thumbs up. I really appreciate all the views and comments. Take care and God bless.
doing some quick uh, diagnosing on this F550 and I have my forward scan tool. I have it set up with RPMs, injection control pressure, injection pressure regulator. So when I crank it, you'll see RPMs, you'll see the oil pressure come up over here. This is low pressure oil, that is your, you know, the oil pressure to your vital organs of the engine. And then that supplies oil to the reservoir for these right here. And that actually controls the injection of the truck. There the main oil pressure came up, but the injection pressure is only like 10 psi, 65% on the injection pressure regulator. And we had RPMs, so with RPMs our crank sensor should be adequate to start, but this number should not get that high when you're cranking. And this number should be a lot higher. It takes like 500 PSI to start one of these things. So it'd be my guess, without tearing it apart, that there's either uh, blown O-rings, injector O-rings, like really gone or uh, injection pressure regulator issue or the pump is just really bad. It sounds better cranking than it did the other day so I'm hoping there's no dead hole. I'll just have to pull the valve covers off, check some stuff over under there. Just all on some pickups home. I got a little treat for you guys. Some of you guys think my excursion has all kinds of power because I broke the input shaft to the tranny. So we're going to do a little test here. My wife is coming with my F-350. She also has a truck on there. Hers is a little bit heavier than mine. I'm going to take off and I'm going to floor it. And then she's going to take off. It's not going to be a fair race. Alright.